Hi, I'm James. Welcome back to our stock trading application. In this third part of the video, I'm going to show you how to implement second factor authentication using one-time password. As you recall, our stock trading app requires second factor authentication using one-time password when trading shares are over 10,000. To implement one-time password, we have to implement two code blocks just like we did for custom login dialog with mass login block. First, we have to implement mass OTP channel selection block. Mass OTP channel selection block will provide two parameters. One is an array of supported OTP delivery channels, such as an email or SMS, and mass OTP generation block. Mass OTP generation block is a callback block that we send the user's selection of OTP delivery channel and request to generate one-time password on the gateway. And then we have to implement OTP credentials block. Mass OTP credentials block is a simple callback block that we send the one-time password to the gateway for verification. To simplify and speed up the development, Mass UI framework provides sample one-time password user interface. The user interface allows the user to select the OTP delivery channel and provides the one-time password that accesses the API. To prompt the user for OTP, make sure to include Mass UI framework in the project. And same as user authentication, we also have an option to handle OTP user interface through Mass UI or not by a method named mass set will handle OTP authentication. Now, let's run the application and test the interaction. Provide the trade parameters by entering 20,000 for the shares, then click buy button. Since the API is defined to have one-time password for over 10,000 shares, mobile SDK will invoke mass OTP channel selection block and we can see a dialog asking for the channel to deliver the one-time password. In this example, I'll use email as my delivery channel. Click send button. By selecting the OTP delivery channel, selected channel will be sent to the gateway and gateway then is responsible to generate the one-time password and deliver the password to the selected channel. Mobile SDK will invoke mass OTP credentials block for user's one-time password to be entered. Let's go and check my email. Here I got the email with the one-time password. Provide this password for my API call and click submit button. And now I can successfully access the API with one-time password. To summarize our sample stock trading application, the mobile SDK provides high-level interfaces to access APIs. The communication between the device and the gateway is secure. Accessing APIs is easy to implement and requires less coding because you don't have to handle the underlying security, networking, and OAuth protocol. Implementing geolocation and one-time password can protect your APIs and are easy to implement. Thanks for watching and see you next time.